Let's learn in this video how to create a Nazure App Service domain using Terraform. Creating a Nazure App Service domain until today is not supported within the Terraform provider for Azure. So we need to create a custom Terraform implementation. For that, I'll be using the Azure API, AZ API provider that allow us to create those resources that are not supported within Terraform. Because this is a lab, I have created this Git repository where you would find the scripts and the Terraform configuration files that I'll be using in order to create the app service domain and also create the DNS zone where you have here a sample implementation for how that works with AZ API. But before going to that Terraform implementation, let's get some context right here. So we can create an Azure App Service domain in order to create a custom domain name within the Azure portal itself. So we can go to the Azure portal, look for App Service domain, and then you would have here a page that will you through the creation of the App Service domain where you can choose your App Service uh, domain or your custom domain name, a resource group, an Azure subscription, and then within the contact information, you fill your information, your address, your phone number, your email in order to validate the creation and then you have another option within the advanced settings which is to enable the auto renewal so when you purchase a custom domain name to be purchased it for 12 months after 12 months you have the option to renew it automatically and purchase it again for another uh, 12 months and then you can enable or disable the privacy protection for your information to be uh, seen within the dns uh, public uh, uh, records so that's one option to create an Azure App Service uh, domain. We have actually a second option that uses the command line, the Azure command line. Here I have a sample command that will show you how to do that using AZ App Service domain, create, then you specify the resource group, the host name you want to use, that could be .com, .net, .org, and so on. And then you specify here a file that is the contact info, which is a JSON file that contains your information like your uh, email, phone number, and so on. And then you accept the terms for creating that domain. Let's now take a look at the third option for creating the app service domain, which we'll explore today. We'll implement using Terraform. For that, we'll be using the Azure API resource provider, which is a provider available within Terraform itself. It was created by Azure team. Here we have the documentation of that provider and here we have some of the resources that it can create and configure. So what I'll be interested here with to the AZ API resource that allow us to create Azure resources from their ARM definition. So it is here simulating a, an HTTP request with the JSON file that will describe the configuration of this uh, resource. So for that, I will need actually to get the JSON or to get the HTTP endpoint and the JSON format that is needed in order to create an Azure App Service domain. For that, I have this information within this link. I have put this link in the GitHub repository. So here we have an example of a JSON file within right here uh, for a sample uh, request using HTTP. So we should provide the location, which is global and it should be global because domain name is global, is not tied to an Azure region. And then within the properties section, we should specify the agreed by, the agreed at, the date and the IP address, the agreement key, the DNS type, which should be, which could be Azure DNS or another one, the contact tech info, contact billing, which are the information, the address, uh, email, phone for the contact. So now having this file, we can go to the Terraform implementation. And here I switch to Terraform implementation, where here I create a new resource group to put the app domain name. And then I create a DNS zone. From that DNS zone, I'll go to configure the domain name in order to add some subdomains or to add A records, C names, and so on. And here I'm creating a sample DNS A record with the name test, and I'm specifying here the IP address 1234 just for testing. And next here, I have my main resource, which is the app service domain. So I'm using again the Azure API resource within Terraform, and I'm specifying the type, which is the type of this resource within the ARM language, which is Microsoft.domain registration slash domains. And then I'm specifying the version of that uh, IP. 
then I'm giving it a name. So for the name here, I'm using a Terraform variable, which was created within the variables.tf section. And for the names, I'm adding here a verification or a validation and a condition that says that the domain name should end with one of the domains that are um, supported by Azure Web Service Domain, which could be .net, .com, .org, and the others. And then I'm giving the value for the domain name within the uh, file terraform.tfvars, where here I specify the domain name you want to choose here is uh, this one, osam13.com. And note here I have some other variables like the name of my resource group, the location where I would have the resource group, and then the agreed IP uh, v6, my IP address and uh, v6 format, and then the date time in which or which will be used for the creation of the app service domain. And then I have here a section or a configuration for the contact info, including the name, last name, email, phone, address mailing. And I'll be using that information within the AZ API resource. So here I'm specifying the location to be global. And note for the parent here, I'm specifying the resource group which is going to be the parent resource for the app service domain. And then next, the section here that describes the configuration for the app service domain, because here we'll be sending a put HTTP request, and we should specify the in the body the JSON file that will be sent. So here we are specifying or we are using those uh, properties right here, the ones that we have already uh, seen from the the HTTP uh, REST provider right here. So we specify all of these uh, properties and that's what I have done right here. So I'm using the method JSON encode in order to be able to run this uh, or to read this as a JSON file. So I provide here, start by providing the properties for auto renew. I don't want to, uh, to renew it because here I'm just running a demo. And then the DNS type, I want to use the Azure DNS. For that, I have started first by creating an Azure DNS zone. And then I provide here the DNS zone ID, which is the one that, again, that I've created earlier right here, the DNS zone. And then for the privacy, I can choose either false or true here for simplicity, I just put false. And then for the consent, we specify here the agreement keys. So I'm specifying here DNRA. And then for the agreed by, I put here my IP address in V6 format. And for the agreed at, I put the date time for the creation of this uh, app service domain. After that, I'll specify the information for the contact administrator, contact registrant, contact billing, and then the contact tech. And that's all for my resource. And of course here, because I'm using a Z API provider, I have imported that provider within the providers.tf file, where I use the Azure RM in order to create the resource group, the DNS zone, and the Azure slash AZ API provider to create the app service domain. So all is good here. Let's go now to try to run this Terraform um, configuration. So I'll open here a new window. So I have already run a Terraform in it to install the Terraform providers. And then I'll go to run Terraform plan dash out TF plan in order to plan the resources that will be created and configured in Azure. And from here, we can see the resources that will be created. So if I scroll here, I will see the app service domain will be created with the configuration that we have specified, and then the uh, DNS a record, the DNS zone, and the resource group. Let's go now to Terraform apply this configuration using the TF plan file. Here it started first creating the resource group, then creating the Azure DNS zone, creating the A record, and then creating the app service domain. And once the creation is completed, we can go here to the Azure portal and verify those resources. So if I go to my resource groups refresh, we should see my resource group here that I've called RG DNS demo, hit refresh on the resources. And here I should see my DNS zone and my app service domain that was created. If I click there, 
this will give me more information about this uh, uh, app service domain and here note this message that saying domain status awaiting this is actually awaiting validation so it should uh, send me any mail in order to validate the creation of this resource and here i have this menu for advanced management portal if I click on it, it will open a new uh, tab in my browser and that will take me to the domain manager where I can view all the domains that I have used. And one of them is the domain that I'm using today, which is domain13.com. When I go there, note here, it's uh, asking me again to verify email address. So I'll click on that and it tells me here that the email was sent so I can go to verify that email. So I can manage the DNS records from within this uh, uh, portal or from this, this tool, or we can also do that using the Azure DNS zone. For that, I have created that DNS zone. And remember within the Terraform configuration file, we have already created an A record with the value, the IP address 1234. That is the record that we have created here. Let's now go to verify that record. So for that, I'll go back to the command line and I'll run the command ns lookup. Then my uh, test URL right here, test dot my domain name dot com. And let's verify that. So if I see here that returns one, two, three, four, which is the IP address, then this means that your app service domain is working as expected. So you can start using this custom domain name to bind it to Azure App Service, for example, or to container apps, or to virtual machines, to front door, to traffic manager, and lots of other Azure resources. And you can do that binding or that mapping to the Azure resources using the DNS zone itself. So if I go to create a new record set here, for example, I can choose a name for it. Let's say this is for my app 01, for example, I can choose to map either an IP address if I choose the A uh, record and then I specify the IP address or I just can also choose a C name if I have an FQDN or an URL that I can paste here. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.